Mm-hmm. Oh God, I need to uh, clean my glasses. I'm still struggling on my legs here, on my eyes. Oh yes, it's twenty past eight, by the way. Twenty pa 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 pa. Twenty past eight p.m. Bram, p.m. on a Sunday evening. Hope you've all had a nice Sunday. Relaxing, relaxing and um, contemplative, and other long words, conducive to the soul. Praise the Lord, for he is a, uh, he's a God, um, oh Jesus, um, uh, oh, what else, right, um, <laughs> sad, uh, no, uh, Arsenal one, my, my, my uh, opposite name is a big Arsenal fan, huge, huge man. He was in the 1972 FA Cup final against Leeds. Leeds won, 1 0. Alan Clark, 1 0. And he was at the 1966 World Cup. He saw more, I think he saw all of the England games. Yeah, he used to work for the post office and, uh, you know, they had their own thing like uh, allocation of tickets in uh, 1966. That shows you old years. He's over a decade older than me. Bloody hell. But he fit though. He's had a, had a couple of uh, wobble, um, things over in the last year. Um, hip but gone. Hip but gone. And he did replace him. So you can guess. He was told, oh, um, there's a two-year waiting list the NHS. He thought, oh, Christ, I've got the money, so I might as well uh, have it done privately. And he had it done within a month, 12,000 12, quid. But when, when, when you think of it, it isn't too bad, but still 12,000 quid. Christ. Or he would have, you know, can you imagine, uh, you know, when your hip is really bad, and you've got to hang on for two years. And if, if you're quite fit, fit and healthy before, hanging around, sitting down for two years, you certainly won't be fit and healthy after two years. And then you've got to have an operation. Oh, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And I'm, I don't know what the hell is going to happen to my eyes. Well, um, seeing an eye person... Uh, Get my eyes checked out next Thursday, and I want to see what happens after that. Oh, anything could happen. Well, they hinted at first um, I might have had a uh, cranial nerve, cranial nerves palsy. You know, cranial nerves, there's many of them. Most of the nerves are for the eyes. I said, uh, sounds like you would. A palsy is like a temporary thing on your nerves, uh, due to something. You know, I have these sneezing fits, and I'm always coughing. I'm allergic to this, that, and the other. And funny thing is, since it happened, I'm coughing much less. Very peculiar. Very peculiar. I'm sick and tired walking up the road with a bloody jap side like this. Open that, and uh, the old double vision. I don't know if my eyes line up. I'm like this. And, and it affects the balance. I do. I walk. I walk. Cause I, 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 I go for a walk every day. I, I, I just come back in about an hour ago. Just been up the garage uh, for a walk. You know, fresh air, not much traffic. And uh, I was like this. And, and no, no. And it's got nothing to do with alcohol. I was, I was totally sober. And I was going down the road a bit like that, you know. Because it's affecting the balance a bit. And then, you know, looking down, like, oh, where's the pavement? Where's the pavement? Where, where's the curb? Where's the curb? It's like a bloody assault course. Certainly make me fit anyway. Yeah, I, I, I got some beer, right? <sighs> From the garage. Yeah. Aye. 
Yes, 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 yes. Everyone's got advice. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do that. Don't do the other. No, so, um, uh, so first, well, there have been several false starts, me trying to find out what the hell's going on. Well, these, well, not the easiest way. The main thing is to get down to accident emergency and sit for a day in the bloody, I don't know. So going to see this, well, it's an optical sh optician shop and they got got their own um, ophthalmist, is it? Ophthalmist. Uh, knows all about eyes. Well, I got practically an eye doctor in even or whatever. And see what happens then. That's the first move. And then uh, see what happens then. Yeah, it's the sort of thing that you you got to leave clear up. Uh, I obviously, as everybody does, I went online, you know, and researched it. Researched it. And uh, it says. Uh, Temporary, um, temporary palsy of the cranial nerves, um, causing double vision and eye problems or whatever. I said, uh, generally it'll clear up over six months. Six months? <laughs> well, it'll get better, slowly better and better. And back to normal in about six months. Jesus Christ, oh well. Six months. Uh, I'll, I'll manage. I'm, I'm glad it's not worse than it is. Than it is. It is worse than it is. You know. Just, uh, you know. What a lot of people used to have these brain policies. Uh, World War One, in the trenches. Uh, you know, in the artillery or just basically in the trenches. With all these bloody shells blowing up, you know, within uh, a few yards of them, and it rattles the brain, and uh, and it's got a lot to do with this, you know, what they call it shell shock, don't they? And it's, the same, it's the same sort of thing, same sort of thing. But God knows what caused mine. I was just laying here, looking at this phone here, and all of a sudden everything was going round in circles. I sat up. And everything was in double all of a sudden, just like that, within within seconds. I, I can't remember. Did I, what, did I have a coughing fit before then? Uh, anyways, it's all related to age, really. Right, eight minutes, eight minutes. Right, have a good week, all. Ta-ra. Happy, happy new week.